20 years ago today, 17 sailors were killed in the attack on the USS Cole. Terrorists bombed the ship in Yemen, hurting 39 others. President Clinton called it a despicable and cowardly act. Navy leaders and the victims' families came together today in Norfolk to honor those sailors. The Navy spent $250 million to fix the ship, and it has since deployed overseas numerous times. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Nicole Livis. And I'm Janet Roach. Mike Gooding got exclusive access to the ship and tells us today's captain and crew are still guided by the coal heroes from two decades ago. To look at the coal today, she looks no worse for wear. But 20 years ago, following a suicide bombing, it was a far different story. It happened right here. The terrorists managed to blow a 40 by 40 foot hole right in the side of this bulkhead. From that moment forward, it was a 96 hour fight to save the ship. And what those sailors did to save their shipmates, uh, and to save the ship really, it's one of the most heroic efforts of damage control in the history of the United States Navy. The Cole's current commanding officer, Commander Ted Pledger, was a midshipman at the Naval Academy that fateful day. Some members of his crew weren't even born yet or were just babies. So for, for us here uh, today, 20 years later, to be part of that legacy, uh, we're just incredibly proud. And I know the crew works really hard to maintain that legacy uh, that those determined warriors established 20 years ago. Uh, it's really an American story, and it's a story of just true grit and toughness and, and determination. And these sailors, they just they did not stop, and they literally saved their ship from sinking. Aboard the coal today, visual reminders of what happened that day and in the hours thereafter are not hard to find. The lessons are not lost upon the coal's modern day sailors. I don't think I actually knew really what happened until I got to the coal. Um, and then it's such a big part of uh, like the knowledge that we have to know being on here. They paid the ultimate sacrifice. Uh, that's why every day we come into work, yeah, it gets overwhelming, uh, it gets really busy, but you know, there's no reason for us to, you know, feel bad about that because, you know, they already paid the sacrifice for us, so we got to continue to keep going for them. The 17 fallen coal heroes are gone, but they're never forgotten. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.